Yer. What is good, John? Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another episode. So, as you guys know, man, by the title and the thumbnail, today's video is... I don't even know if it's a negative video or not because it's just like, bro, like, y'all are going to see. So, I don't know. I'm just mad skeptical on whether or not to trust that everything is okay. I don't even want to spoil it for y'all, man. Let's just go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this banger. Let's do it. As y'all can see, car is back, lifted up on the lift. I just got in the car, man, and this tire is down to 20 pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off, fill it up with some air. I'm gonna dunk it, spray it down. I don't see a nail right now. I'm kind of scared that where bro welded at is actually leaking again. But I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. All right, y'all. So just like I thought, spray where he welded. Y'all can see right where he welded. It's just beating the fuck up. So yeah, obviously his weld isn't holding, and this whole area is just leaking, bro. So I'm probably gonna have to get a new wheel at this point, cause. Having him just weld over that again and he ain't gonna do nothing for real, bro. <sighs> Damn. Many unbearable hours later. y'all so as y'all can tell man we are currently in vader right now um just cruising i wanted to take them out and just make sure that i didn't need to do like a balancing on the wheel um and just make sure you know like everything was smooth with it bro went ahead and brought it back after he redid it damn bro like gonna cut me off it's crazy hold up run that back did y'all see that? How you gonna turn on the blinker after you get in my lane? Y'all see? Now it's on. That's crazy, bro. You thought you was slick. Had to slow that down for y'all so y'all could really see that. Gonna turn on the blinker after the fact. Of course, just not paying attention, bro. Like, that stuff be pissing me off. Y'all seen it. But anyway, um... Bro went ahead and brought me back the wheel today, and I just had him install it because I ain't gonna lie, I paid you that money, and you messed up my wheel, and I literally took it off for you? Yeah, hell nah. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a little petty this time, and I'm not finna take off the damn wheel for you. I'm gonna make you take the wheel off your dang self. And then Loki came back and bit me in the butt because once he was jacking the car up to put the wheel back on, this man ended up scratching up my side skirt and cracking it. So there's that, but... How can you really be upset, like... When you got a car that does that, you know what I mean? Like, can you really be, can you really have a bad day for real? Like, a car looks good, sounds good. From the looks of it right now, it's driving good. I ain't gonna lie though, bro did scuff up my wheel. There is some new damage to the front of the wheel that I hadn't seen before. I'm pretty sure his tire machine when they were putting the tire back on, or even when they were taking the tire off, one of the two, it ended up damaging the wheel a little bit. But honestly, y'all, like, 
I'm done with that company. I'm done dealing with, bro. Like, I'm not even finna call them back and have them come fix it or anything like that, bro. Like, y'all ever been in that kind of situation where you're basically in between a rock and a hard place? Because it's like... A, I don't want you to touch my car no more because you already messed up the first time. But then it's like, B, I paid you my money, so you gotta right your wrongs. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. Live chat, if you're watching this right now, put it in the live chat, bro. Have y'all ever been in that kind of situation before? If so, what did you do? You know what I'm saying? To be honest, bro, I'm really about to just take this L. If this tire leaks again, bro, if this wheel starts leaking again, I'm just going to buy a new wheel. I'm not even about to hit them up no more or none of that because I did not want to deal with it in the first place. But I was just like, man, I'm going to make you right your wrongs. Y'all hear Vader? He just sounds so good, bro. Oh, my God. But I'm about to pull over real quick, and I'm going to see if I can show you guys the damage to the wheel. And then we'll go ahead and close out this vlog. So give me one second, let me find a good spot to pull over at. All right, y'all, I don't know how well y'all can see, but the yellow paint right here, and then this chip, that's all from bro either A, taking the tire off, or B, putting it back on. And then, when he was jacking the car up, bro ended up cracking the clear coat on my side skirt, bro. So like, y'all already know these joints have seen better days. I was gonna get them fixed, but now I think I'm gonna get a new set and then get these fixed and just have them as a backup pair. But it's crazy, I pulled over to show you guys the damage on my 1LE and we got a 5th gen 1LE sitting right there. And that joint's clean too, I can't lie. Show you guys the TPMS sensor one more time. As y'all can see, it's at 41 pounds. At first it was at 39. I'm not gonna lie, I did just get some you know, warmth going through the tires so they all rose up a little bit, which is normal if you guys didn't know that. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm still not 100% confident in bro's work solely because he messed up already. Who's to say he's not gonna mess up again? Um, so that being said, y'all, I'm gonna keep an eye out on this joint. I'm probably not gonna make another video solely talking about the tire or the wheel. If I do have any issues, knock on carbon that I don't, but. That's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. And as you guys can see, it's at 40 now. And then it's back up to 41. So I don't know, bro. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see what happens over the next 48 hours. Really a week or two because that's how long it took. It took a week before it started leaking again. So we'll see, man. Y'all pray for the kid. Get this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications if you're already subscribed. Turn on post notifications if you're just now subscribing. And I'm going to go ahead and roll that outro. And I'll see y'all. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.